It is the height of insensitivity. Perhaps the government hospital authorities have not looked at the anguish on the face of the parents close enough. Parents, most of them poor, who've lost their babies in this very government hospital. Perhaps the hospital chooses not to acknowledge the pain. Why else would they make outrageous, insensitive comments? Remember, 12 newborn babies have died in 48 hours, but the hospital chief of Karnul Government Hospital blames it now on the monsoon. Now this is a monsoon season, so there's a possibility that, you know, uh, hypothermia, the temperature outside also causes, can lead to this higher mortality in these children. This particular month is uh, more prone, we, we are likely to have more deaths. <laughs> How does one react rationally to this doctor's remark? It's a question these anxious parents would like to ask. Try explaining that to this woman who has just lost her baby. 12 infants dead in 48 hours. An insensitive state government scrambling for damage control a day after making the most bizarre comment. Totally, I am not ruling out the uh, human angle. There will be some sort of laxity. And 31st, first being holidays, our people might have relaxed. There is no negligence on the part of the government, on the part of the doctors, on the part of the... There is no human error. It is God's error. In fact, the preliminary inquiry reveals shocking lapses. Ventilators unused. Despite high mortality rates, the hospital grossly understaffed. The biomedical engineer has come. So he's uh, repairing uh, the instruments uh, which are not functioning. Excuses are never ending. But no one can face this mother and tell her why her baby really died. Bureau Report, Times Now. <laughs>